Welcome back, everyone. Hyperbaric oxygen therapy is a common treatment for humans, but now it's available for your pets. WHAG's Mallory Safoste has more on an animal health hospital in Maryland that's using that technology. Carson, a four-year-old whippet, suffered serious neck wounds after getting into a fight with another housemate. Carson was on the floor in pretty bad shape. Um, he had some pretty serious neck trauma. Carson's owner took him directly to the vet, but his injuries were so severe, he was referred to the Emergency Care Veterinary Center in Frederick. It was there that doctors had to decide whether he would need surgery or if a new therapy might be able to save the damaged tissue. The hope with the hyperbaric oxygen treatments is to increase the oxygen supply to those muscles to prevent us from actually having to do extensive surgery to remove any damaged muscle. In three treatments, the swelling went down and Carson's body was able to heal without an invasive procedure. And while hyperbaric therapy isn't a new technology, particularly for humans, it's now starting to catch on in veterinary medicine. Hyperbaric Veterinary Medicine, the largest supplier for animal clinics, say CARE is the only animal health hospital with this technology in Maryland. They have a total of 30 chambers nationwide. It helps with um, animals that have had trauma, with snake bites, with pancreatitis. Uh, just last week we saw four snake bite cases here in the hospital. Animals are getting four times the normal oxygen level in this airtight chamber. When the animal breathes in, the increased oxygen in the, in the chamber, it pushes that oxygen into the tissues. Each session costs around $175. While it's not cheap, doctors say it's cost effective because it cuts down on hospital stays and could prevent expensive surgeries. And for people who see their pets as family, you can't put a price on your animal's life. In the end, if it helps, that's all that really matters. Reporting in Frederick, Mallory Safoste, WHAG News. Just like in human health care, where you're referred to a specialist, your general veterinarian will also decide if your pet could benefit from this therapy and would make their recommendation to see a board-certified clinic.